okay, so you've created an AI chat agent on NA10, and now you want to put that chat agent actually on a website within a chat widget. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to go through today. So here we can see within NA10, I've got uh, a workflow which is allowing us to chat with the website. I created this in another video. If you want to see that video, then check out my channel. You can see how we can create an agent that uh, where you can you can talk with the website and any information that's on the website. Uh, we just got basic chat interface. Tell me what's happening in the news today. You put in BBC News's uh, URL and it tells you what's happening today by scraping that page. Very simple. And what we're going to do today is be able to take that chat and take it off NA10 and to put it into a chat widget on any website that you want. You can see here, here is my super amazing website, which is live. I've got a little pop-up in the right-hand corner and I can type in here, tell me what is happening in the news today uh, by looking at this URL and then I'll paste in BBC News. We'll click send. And this is using that exact um, NA10 automation that we created, but it will be able to process and give us a response here. And you can see this is not the most beautiful chat. However, you can completely tweak it how you like, format the response so that we can actually talk with our NA10 uh, automation on a chat widget on your own website. So let's get into how we create it. So to do this, you will need to use a little bit of code. I will link to this code down below and you can go and use exactly this code that I've got here. And when you've copied and pasted this code, I'm gonna use CodePen at the moment to uh, kind of just like use as a, a, a sketching pad where we can play around with the code. Um, all I need to do with this is I need to replace the um, ID of the chat that's in here with your chat ID. So, so this one right here, if you scroll to, I think it's line 124 URL, we need to change this. So if we click on the chat trigger, and we want to click make this chat publicly available. We're gonna click on that. Um, you don't need to change any of it. This doesn't matter here. Um, we can copy this just by clicking on it. We can come back over to wherever you want to integrate it. And on that line 124, just replace that in there with uh, whatever your URL is. And then here on CodePen, we can have a little look and see if it's working. Now it's not gonna work straight away. We need to change a few other things, but let's give it a go. If we go uh, hello and then click send, it says, sorry, I could not understand that. That's fine, we're gonna fix that. Also, I should say at this point, um, this chat doesn't look amazing. However, if you take all of this code that uh, is here, if you put that into Claude or whatever AI you want and say, tweak this, tweak that, you can make it look however you want to look. But uh, I haven't spent really a lot of time styling it. This is just how to get it technically working. Then you can work on the styling from there. Okay, so let's see what's happening and what we need to fix. So if we go to executions, we can see why it failed and we can fix it. So if we open it up, before I carry on, let me just say that AI is moving super, super quickly these days. And if you're not keeping up with it, then at some point you're gonna be overtaken. If you want occasional updates from me, whenever there is breaking news or really important things when it comes to AI and especially AI in relation to business, then there'll be a link down below where you can sign up for those free occasional updates from me. Anyway, back to the video. So if we have a look here, we can see that uh, there's an error in the buffer memory. And this is because, um, when we're working with the chat, it uses the session ID from this chat, but now we're not actually using the chat that's in a, in NA10, we have to use the chat which is elsewhere. So we need to pass in a new uh, session ID and we also need to pass in a new message. So if we come, uh, actually let's open this up and we can see that we've got two things in here. We've got chat ID and we've got message and we're gonna need to include these identifiers in the rest of our process. So let's go back over to editor. And there's gonna be two things that we need to change. Let's close this. First of all, let's fix that problem with the buffer. So within here, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna get rid of this because we want it to work both in the chat on N810 and also in our web chat, wherever you wanna have that on your website. So we're gonna keep two. We are going to put another one in and we're gonna call it uh, at Jason, or sorry, dollar sign Jason, and then we're gonna call it chat ID. It's important that you get the, uh, the case right on this uppercase I, lowercase d, and you'll see that this is red at the moment because it's not detected and that's fine because there's only gonna be either a session ID if it's on an A10 or a chat ID if it's not on an A10. And if there's not one, then it's just gonna be blank. So basically it's like an either, whichever's there it's gonna use. And if one's not there, it doesn't really matter. So we need to change that, but we also need to change the prompt because at the moment the prompt is getting the chat input, which is the name from the NA10 chat. However, um, as we saw uh, just a second ago, what we want is actually the message. It's gonna be called message if it's from the chat which is embedded on the website. So in just the same way we did with the session ID, we just want to put in here, 
um, dollar sign JSON dot message. And again, that's going to turn up red, but that's absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that because it is going to work uh, when we actually use it. So uh, now we can save this um, and we can go back over to CodePen. And um, we should just be able to send it a message and say hello. And hopefully, there we go. Hello, how can I help you today? Um, so we can see it's uh, giving us a response rather than just, sorry, I couldn't understand that. So let's say in here, um, use this URL to tell me what is happening in the news today. And I'll paste in the link to BBC News. Again, uh, you probably want this text box to expand if people type more, so you can play around with the styling using uh, whichever AI you want to tweak some of the code. But if we send that, let's see what's going to happen. It's going to take a second or two, and again, you could add some code to this and ask it to you know, have a waiting message. But there we go. Here are some of the top news stories. Cargo ship fire, blah, 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 et cetera. There we go. So it tells you everything you need to know. However, I don't just want this to be on CodePen. I want to put this on an actual website. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've got all this code. I'm going to integrate it on a Bubble website. Bubble is a great tool that I use for loads and loads of projects. Uh, it's a no-code tool. It just allows you to create software really easily. So within Bubble, this is the page that we're going to be using just as a test page. If we preview this, um, you can go to this URL and you can see this, or you might not be able to, but you know it's live on the internet essentially. And you can see that basically nothing's happening here at the moment. And all I'm going to do is take all of this code that we've got here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come into Bubble and whatever uh, tool you're using to build your website, all you need to do is just put this either in the header or if you just want it in a certain area, just put it in a HTML snippet and you can put this anywhere on any page on any website. So on Bubble, how this works is uh, we want to go to the page. I'm going to scroll down to page HTML header and we're just going to paste that all in there. And uh, we're not going to see any difference on the, uh, the canvas here within Bubble. However, if we reload this page, and again, it's going to be different whichever editor you're going to use, but we can see that now that appears in the bottom right, we can open this up, and this is you know on our live website, and we can say, hi there, uh, tell me what is happening in the, the news today with, let's say, using this URL, and I'll uh, copy BBC News URL again, and uh, put that at the end, and we'll press send give it a second or two to respond. And now on our live website, we can see we get the response. And you can see there's a few little formatting things that um, we probably need to address. You know, it's trying to make these bits bold, but um, it's not uh, being formatted correctly. So we could play around with the formatting and how it uh, gives a response back to it so that we can actually format it correctly. And again, there's lots of things you're gonna want to change about this chat module here. And you could do that just by taking the code that will be down in the description, asking Claude, asking OpenAI, whichever is your favorite uh, language model just to make some changes to it and it works really well. So there you go, really quick and easy way how you can take an N8N chat and how you can embed that as like a chat widget on any website that you want. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, then please do give it a like. If you have any questions, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please do subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.